Well folks, welcome to Season of the Lost. There's plenty of new loot to try out, but today we're focusing on a new Kinetic 140 RPM hand cannon, Judgment. This hand cannon returns to us as a reissued model from Trials of the Nine in the early days of Destiny 2, and it was alright back then, but now that it's returned, it has some new, extremely appealing perk options, some perks that we are just seeing for the first time in Destiny 2. And for a couple reasons you'll see shortly, I think this hand cannon really changes the playing field for a majority of PvP players. And for a few veteran players, it might not change your playing field unless you still have a soft spot in your heart for a slide shot opening shot waking vigil, in which case you're definitely going to like judgment. Okay, so let's examine a couple of godly roles that you can chase, and then I have a really fun live commentary match for you at the end where I use a god roll judgment and have just a great time, honestly. I think you'll enjoy it. Alright, let's go. So right now, it's important to mention that the Destiny community has noticed that there's some sort of bug in the Prophecy Dungeon, making it extremely rare for these reissued Trials of the Nine weapons to drop. So farming for Judgment is pretty weird right now, but it's only going to be that way for a little bit because I'm sure Bungie will patch this up soon. Once the dungeon is fixed, you'll be able to farm for Judgment in the dungeon, and what's particularly cool about this is that the Prophecy Dungeon is fun, but it's also actually free-to-play content, so no matter how you play Destiny, you can get a Judgment to drop for you, which is awesome. Anyway, while it might be nearly impossible to get this thing today, I strongly believe that's going to change in just a matter of days. Now, speaking of good luck, you're not going to believe this, but please just watch what happened last night in my very first run of the Prophecy Dungeon this season. There we go. Oh my god, I got judgment on the very first try. <laughs> Let's f***ing go. It's the worst roll ever, but I'll take it. Watch second judgment about to happen for me right now. What? No way. What the f***? The chances of that. I'm master working this right now. Oh my god. What's the roll? So I actually got two of them to drop back to back, which just blew my mind, as I'm sure you heard, and obviously one of them here is a god roll, so I had a ton of fun last night testing it out in PvP. That roll is what you're seeing in the footage today, and it's what you'll see coming up in the live commentary, but before we get to that, we need to check out d2gunsmith.com to see some of the amazing perks this thing has up for grabs. To me, someone who mostly plays 3v3 PvP, the most appealing perks are things like slide shot, moving target, timed payload, and opening shot. These have always been top tier perks for PvP because they give really nice bonuses to a variety of stats like accuracy, aim assist, range, and of course flinch to your opponent's screen. But there's one new contender you should definitely not overlook, and that's the perk Encore, which just came out this season. When you get a precision kill, it adds a stacking range bonus to judgment, which is really nice on a 140 RPM hand cannon, but if you accidentally get a non-precision kill, then you're going to get increased accuracy and stability, which are extremely important stats on hand cannons for combating aim assist cone degradation. The perk Encore lasts for about 6 seconds, and while that isn't a lot, you can definitely take time to recover your health and challenge a new fight with a beefed up 140, which is quite nice. The reason I say stability is extremely important is because last week, nerds like me who geek out about all the tiny mechanisms under the hood of Destiny gunplay learned some incredible news from a Bungie developer who was recently interviewed on the podcast Massive Breakdowns with Mercules and Kutch. This developer confirmed that stability directly reduces the rate at which your weapon's aim assist reduces the more you fire it over time. That means that if you have higher stability on a hand cannon, hitting your third or fourth shot in a fight is going to be far easier if you have higher stability. And that's regardless of whether or not your aiming ability is actually pretty good. This is something the Destiny PvP community strongly suspected for a while, but it felt really awesome to finally have legitimate proof about stability, and in addition, we learned some fascinating things about how aim assist actually guides your weapon's accuracy cone, and how stability is actually tuned differently from archetype to archetype. Trust me, if you prioritize stability equally or higher than range and handling on your weapons, particularly hand cannons, you're going to feel some incredible benefits in your day-to-day -day gunfights, and you'll probably start getting a lot more 3 taps with your 140 RPM hand cannons. And that's actually true for mouse and keyboard players as well as controller players. Now even though Encore has me excited, as does Ensemble, Harmony, and Adagio, incredible perk naming from Bungie, holy crap. The thing about Encore is that it requires a precision kill, and if you play competitive PvP, you know that getting a kill and living to tell the tale is sometimes a tall order in endgame playlists like Survival or Trials of Osiris, or community scrimmage events, much less getting a precision kill which is what Encore requires to activate. So as much as I do want to recommend Encore, and I do, it's quite good, I think if you are someone who aims for those like always on, always active, always helping you out kind of perks, you should choose something else like Slide Shot. 
Now the reason I say choose slide shot is because it has always been an incredible perk. It grants a whopping 20 range and 50 stability for 3 whole seconds, which is actually a nice chunk of time. For reference, that's about as long as the perk Rampage lasts. Now, range tightens your accuracy cone and makes it easier to hit shots further away. Of course, not to mention you'll experience damage falloff later on. But on top of the big range boost you're getting from slide shot, you're getting a whopping 50 stability. So if you slide, you're not only getting a massive boost to range for 3 seconds, you're also getting a huge bonus to stability, so it's going to be much easier to land successive shots and hit a 3-tap. And on 140 RPM hand cannons, that is absolutely what you should be aiming for, because that's a pretty dang fast time to kill. And there are plenty of other things in today's sandbox that are encroaching on hand cannon time to kill. Furthermore, since with this new season the slide nerf launched, which reduced your weapon stability by 20 while sliding, slide shot is going to completely eclipse that negative effect and give you a healthy boost on top of that, and I think you'll really like the feeling of it in every gunfight you enter. I think Slideshot easily, easily takes the cake for the best perk in this column for competitive PvP, so let's move on to the final column where we find Opening Shot and Time Payload. Now Opening Shot is amazing, but it does kind of help you with something that was already easy to be fair, and that is landing the first shot of a hand cannon duel when your aim assist is generous and your accuracy cone is tight. That said, Opening Shot is still an excellent perk, and you should be happy if you get that on your judgement roll, but what I really want you to turn your attention to is Timed Payload, which is an incredibly good perk on any hand cannon. Timed Payload adds two flinch events to your shot, the initial flinch when your bullet hits, and the second flinch a moment later when the explosive portion of the shot goes off. Time Payload also extends your effective range just a bit because the explosive portion of the shot does not experience damage falloff, but the main appeal here is the added flinch, which hits twice in a row. And when you're firing at the rate of a 140 RPM hand cannon, that means your opponent is basically experiencing back-to-back -back flinch continuously throughout the entire gunfight, which makes it considerably more difficult to return fire and hit you. And that's great because you don't want to get shot. Time Payload is sort of like Explosive Payload in the sense it's adding a lot more flinch to your opponent than normal bullets or even high cal bullets, but it takes a step further than Explosive Payload and it spreads that flinch out across more time, so your opponent is constantly trying to correct their shots back onto you. Just like I mentioned in my Time Loss Fatebringer vs Adept Palindrome video, Explosive Payload is a phenomenally potent perk in PvP for messing with your opponents which is something you absolutely must do in competitive PvP, and Time Payload is right in that same boat as Explosive Payload. It's super valuable. If you get Time Payload and Slide Shot on your judgment, it's absolutely a god roll. Now, as much as I want to get into more nuance here, there also isn't that much need to do so. Accurize Rounds is the best magazine perk. I'd recommend Handling Masterwork since we are getting our range bonuses elsewhere like Accurize Rounds, Slide Shot, Opening Shot, or Time Payload. And when it comes to the sights, I believe you should either pick Fast Draw Sights or Steady Hand Sights, and that's because they give 23 or 24 bonus stat points respectively, which is a ton spread across Handling, Stability, and Aim Assist. No other sights provide a higher cumulative total, and in some cases they subtract from other stats, which is disappointing. So I would say those two are your best bet. This puts you at 59 range, 57 stability, 66 handling and 80 aim assist. While we know higher stability is a game changer regardless of input method, if we're talking optimal god roll here, and we are, then you're going to be okay in the stability department and range department for that matter, all because of the generous boosts you get from slide shot. We love you slide shot, please never go away. Alright, a final important point to mention here is accessibility and weapon pairings for judgment. We know there are godly special weapon pairings in the kinetic slot and the energy slot, and while I personally believe the best choices these days for special weapons are living in the energy slot, that is personal preference, and so if you are highly dependent on a special weapon, which let's be honest, it's hard not to be these days, but if you do choose loadouts based on your special, then maybe that rules out judgment for you, or maybe it makes it the most appealing gun ever, which is cool too. But none of that matters if you can't get one, of course, and that brings me to accessibility. Since the extreme rarity of this gun is really just a fluke that's going to be fixed soon, that means that judgment is farmable for any player, since the Prophecy Dungeon is free to play, and on top of that, you don't technically need a fire team to complete it. You can bring two friends if you want to, and I think you should because gaming is fun with friends. Join our Discord, we're nice and we ban toxic people. But even if you have no friends, you can jump in Prophecy and get it done with a little practice and grab yourself a judgment. And I love that. That's a huge appeal for a lot of players, especially newer players who are just coming to the game and haven't found a community yet or haven't bought expansions yet. And to be honest, we're going to be seeing a ton of those players coming back with the upcoming Witch Queen expansion. Now, when it comes to competitors like Dire Promise and Fatebringer, those are free-to-play 140 RPM hand cannon options as well, and as you can see, their stats actually outperform Judgment ever so slightly. 
but those guns are honestly pretty hard to get if you don't have a raid team, which honestly there are a lot of players who just don't or can't do raids, or if you don't have 6,000 gunsmith materials to spend for a god roll dire promise. In that case, Judgment is actually the best kinetic hand cannon for you because it's one of the few competitive options you can get. And that's what takes this gun to the next level. It is extremely accessible. Furthermore, it has great special weapon pairings. It starts with good base stats for a 140, even if it is a little bit behind the others in the slot. It comes with one of the best flinch dealing perks in the game, and its other perk options are actually pretty dang effective. So you take that package and combine it with the fact that any player in the game can get it without having a raid team or a stockpile of gunsmith materials or having Having any money, and you have yourself the best new hand cannon in Destiny for the general public. And that's exactly what Judgment is, a judgment-free hand cannon for the general public. For the guardian you meet on the street who works a 9 to 5 and just needs a reliable hand cannon that can hang with the big dogs. And with the right roll, Judgment totally can. That's why I think you're going to start seeing this gun everywhere in PvP. Also as a quick side note, even if you do have a god roll Fatebringer or Dire Promise, and probably many of you do, I think you would seriously enjoy trying out a slide shot opening shot Judgment, because it's going to feel super, super nice after the slide nerfs just happened this season. And I think it'll really remind you of your good old friend's slide shot opening shot Waking Vigil from Pack and Forsaken, which is a really popular pick back in the day. A god roll judgment actually compares really similarly stat-wise to a god roll forsaken era waking vigil. So you old school D2 vets out there are going to love it for that reason alone. Anyway, at the end of the day, whether you're a highly experienced PvP player or a brand new free-to-play player, you might really love yourself some judgment. Alright, now let's see this gun in action in a live setting and not with a bunch of fancy clips edited together. I had a ton of fun in Rumble using my god roll judgment with duality on top tree gunslinger. Check it out. Ooh, we are in a game. Oh, they traded. All right. And we're just waiting. Maybe I get sniped here and die. Wow, I'm surprised that didn't hit. I have to fight somebody else now. Um. Okay. <laughs> and then now duality. Oh, I gotta reload this way. Okay. Now we can get in a primary fight, maybe, please? Yes. Well, that wasn't much of a fight, but whatever. Got to use judgment, I'm happy. That slide shot, holy shit, that's feeling good. Okay. This fight is taking too long, to be honest. Okay, that works. Oh, there's heavy. That's why they were going there. It's like, what a strange path to take. Please. Oh, I was really hoping they'd walk in that. Oh my god, yes! Let's go! Oh my god, that's how you know it's a good rumble match. Oh, we gotta put this one in there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now we're going. And then back this way for this one kill. Oh, they landed more shots than me. Good job. Left side, right side. It's this thing again. Oh, I have on... Oh no, I do have on six shooter. I was like, what golden gun do I have on? Just the bow, I gotta be careful of that. Okay, we gotta try to save our friend here. Our buddy got frozen. Okay, our buddy's very lost, but we're also very grateful that new players are joining Destiny every day. 
because it makes the game better. It really does. Oh, there's a catalyst um, coming to Luminarch. Not, not this season, probably not next season, but it is coming. It was mentioned on that uh, Massive Breakdowns podcast when uh, Mercules and the other dude, who I don't remember the name of, interview Chris Proctor at Bungie Dev. And he mentioned they are making a Luminar Catalyst soon, so that should be cool. Good shots. Recovery, please. Sweet. And then let's get on to other fights here, because spawn killing gets pretty boring. Oh, there's a sword in the middle. Oh, somebody else killed them. Come on. Okay. I should not have challenged that. That was so foolish. Oh, yes. And there's somebody to my right, too. Weird, weird fight happening here. I'm just going to go outside, I think. Nice three tap. That was uh, some generous aim assist there from Judgment, but I will take it. Judgment's very good. Like, yes, good. Like, if you can't get a time loss Fate Bringer, this is the next best thing. Uh, I think I just have to go. I can't fight that. That would have been kind of sick, but... Oh, maybe they can deal with the Dawnblade. Sweet. That was an excellent game. And I'm very happy with it. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.